good morning <laughs> good morning guys it is monday morning and i am back in the gym so oh by the way i kind of like washed my hair yesterday because it was that time and i'm just gonna have my natural hair today i have a few errands to run today i do have to film some content today for a brand so it's gonna involve me styling my hair how I style my hair and things like that with this new product that I've been loving and using but let's talk more about the gym I have lost a significant amount of weight those of you that like were following me I want to say when I was in uni and I was really taking the gym seriously have probably seen that I've lost a lot of weight I've had a lot of questions about am I okay is everything okay I am okay I just have a super fast metabolism so I am back in the gym as of today I went last week Wednesday and I just loved it like it was just ugh, it was just so nice I would have loved if the gyms could have been open during the whole lockdown because it would have been great to just focus on working out but I can understand why they didn't do that so hey you win some you lose some vegan hair vitamins from hair burst and this is also like a kind of spray it's supposed to be for volume and growth I like to use things for at least a month in advance before I've come especially if it's something that I'm actually have to like in like eat or ingest I'm not going to talk about it after a day because how does that make any sense you can see I have about <laughs> I have about I have about 10 left and I eat two of these a day what puts me off vitamins is having to like get water to like swallow it down I really don't like that these are basically sweets I have a sweet tooth it's been a struggle for me to not eat them so not eat more than two because they are nice also from hair burst I use this once so I used this for the first time yesterday um, and it is for longer stronger hair I don't mind longer hair and I do not mind stronger hair. I think it's too soon for me to be able to tell if these have been beneficial. But one thing I do like to do is I like to check the reviews of a product. The reviews on this brand are really actually really good and I was quite shocked because I felt like a lot of people are skeptical when it comes to like hair growth tablets, hair growth this, hair growth that. I used these yesterday, conditioner are really moisturizing and I really like them. I just can't really say much about them yet. I haven't even showed you guys what is on my skin. This is my acne pimple patch. My nail lady Michelle is coming over. I don't mean to swear at you, but <laughs> look what's happened to my nail. So I'm gonna get that fixed. Okay guys, I just got the shower. Literally, look at the difference this makes. So, crazy. Not crazy. Crazy. Not crazy. You know what I hate about going to the gym? Because if you go to a gym as a woman, the people that work at the gym, or even like fellow gym goers, they automatically assume that because you're a woman, you don't know what you're doing. Why are you coming to tell me, oh yeah, this is better, this, 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 as if you've been in my skin for the whole of my life. I've been going to the gym for three years. I don't know what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what I enjoy, how I like to train. I just, personally, I don't really like that because I never ever see men going up to fellow men doing, oh yeah, um, this is what you should do to do, uh, mind your business. I'm officially about to eat my fourth meal the time is i'm gonna estimate so now i don't have time it was about quarter to three about 20 minutes ago it's about 10 past three and i'm on my fourth meal how have i done it part one breakfast so oats i'll then have my protein shake which considers as one as well and then after my workout another protein shake that's three down already my goal is six a day that's how much I eat to gain weight. My fourth one now is, you can consider it a snack. Like a lot of the time it is kind of like snacking because I'm not having like huge meals anymore because I was just getting bloated when I tried that um, a few years ago. So I now have so many small regular meals. Well, medium, I wouldn't say, yeah, medium. It's not small. Um, but now I would consider this a snack. So I'm having a toasty. toasty this has just got eggs in it um seasoned eggs by the way i don't like to put cheese in my toasties personally a two-piece from opoly so it's just a bralette and shorts 
that's what I'm wearing because it's just so hot. But onto the nails. I don't think you're listening. I went for something different this time. I don't know if you can see, but these two, oh wow. <laughs> Some tie dye, so it's tie dye in orange. And then just to show you, this is what the four five nails look like. I'm so happy with them. Normally I would have just gotten plain. I was so tempted to get the exact same style, but I want to switch it up. I'm going to end this vlog here for today. Um, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. I just cannot wait for the thunder, the lightning, the rain, because we need to cool down. I think we deserve it. Like, this is a bit much. Actually outside my office. Well, my management's office, not my office. While I wait for my manager to come and get me. <sighs> Look at all my PR. Oh, I've actually already gone through it all, but here's Joe. Hello. <laughs> and here's Hannah. Kind of... Here's Hello. 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 So do I, I don't and then back and one, swallow it whole, swallow it whole. So don't chill. Don't chill, go back and one. It doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> Should I stop? Yeah. <laughs> it has been a while, I hope you guys can hear me. But I'm literally just on my way to the salon. I basically posted like a video yesterday for Dyson. Why is my hair crap? <laughs> but I literally have been procrastinating for about four good months when it comes to trimming my hair. Don't ask me why. My hair is really used to like just being trimmed regularly because normally I'll kind of like trim it every other wash. Nothing major. I mean, some, that might be a bit dramatic in comparison to what other people do, but I found that it really used to help my hair like grow. I really hope you guys can hear me because this mask. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I kind of compared it to a video I did two months ago in June and my hair right now in comparison to June, I just have so many split ends, a lot of thinning, um, so I'm on my way to my appointment um, at a salon called Cherub London, Cherub Salon. I'll leave it here because I don't know if I'm saying the right name, but yeah, hopefully can get this baby back into shape because this is not my brand this is very off brand good morning guys i did kind of mention that i was using hair burst products and that i had cut my hair so so I've recently just got a silk press. I got a silk press from a brand called Cherub London. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box for you. And she got my hair all the way together because when I put out my Dyson video and I realized, watching it back, I realized, oh my God, I have so many split ends. I have so many, um, just like, it's just so uneven. I'm gonna give you the timeline. So my hair used to be really, really long, loved it. But at the end of the day, it's all about health over length for me. But it was it was actually healthy, and I would always trim my hair myself. But at the beginning of this year, I messed it up, and I ended up cutting so unevenly to the point where I had to cut off so much more than expected just to make it all even. So I did that in around March. I'm gonna like leave pictures up to show you like the progressive state of my hair. So I did that around March. Yeah, and I started using hair burst products, so their shampoo and conditioner. And as well as main the main things I've been using are their eyebrow and eyelash serum and the girls brows are full baby but I've also been using their um, hair vitamins kind of this fluctuating Do you know what why am I being dumb this is the serum 
that I've been using every night on my eyebrows and lashes just after I've done like my nighttime routine so I use this um, and I have seen some changes if I'm being honest the brows are thicker the eyelashes are longer uh, people some people say you can't really grow your lashes but I don't know if that's true because I have noticed a difference in my lashes if I'm being honest this is the vegan ones these are the ones I use initially and they're about 60 in a pack so you're supposed to use two a day so I use this for a whole month these finished and now I'm on to their originals so these aren't vegan and I've been using this and I noticed a lot of growth in my hair and I'm going to show you side by side pictures so from when I cut it in March and from about two three days ago the picture I took while at Cherub London before getting it trimmed it grew but it didn't grow evenly and I know why it didn't grow evenly because the trim that I gave it wasn't even like let's just call it call a spade a spade the trim I gave it was crap and this is the silk press I've had it for about um when did I get this done I got this done last Friday so today is Monday so I've had it for three days it's still very much straight and it just gave my hair a lot more life so to round this whole ramble up because it's been completely all over the place what i'm trying to say is yes these do work i do actually do i received a lot of growth and i'm actually really excited now that my hair is all even to see the growth that i will experience in like the next month or two so watch this space i'm gonna leave everything in the description box this is an ad by the way but Honestly, I wouldn't even talk about it if it didn't work. You guys have seen the pictures, so decide for yourselves. I'm gonna still be using it because, to be honest, it's sweets and I love sweets and I get hair growth, so no brainer. Today, I'm gonna be going to the gym with Tracy. We're going for about 10 o'clock, so I have a few things to do before going to the gym. I need to tidy up my room to start. This evening, I have a dinner with Bella. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain today because I will not hesitate to cancel. I really just don't like being out in the rain anymore. My sleepwear is from a brand called Sleeper. I'll leave that in the description box as well. These are my pyjamas. Whoop whoop! I am currently 60 kg. I am very happy about that. Not too bad. This is my goal. 70. I just got back. What a good session. Okay, I'm back now. I'm on my fourth meal, by the way. So I had oats to begin with. And then I came back from the gym. I had a shake. And then I had my second part of breakfast, which was just basically like a like avocado and sausage roll that's what i had and yeah this will make it my fourth meal even though they're really kind of snacks but it's all about the protein for me like that's it i'm back in my robe because i am going to film a makeup video i haven't done makeup in so long i haven't done so many different things let me stop that i haven't done so many different things in so long so i'll film the makeup look i'm gonna do for tonight now so it's it's i apologize it's really intermittent i hopefully i'll have time to like properly sit down and speak and give you guys the lowdown but i think i'm gonna go for like a super long braid on my hair today which means i'm gonna put a lot of product in it which means i'm probably gonna have to wash it out which means it's probably the end of this silk press but we'll see never say never Okay guys, I am back. <laughs> I am so happy myself because this is a makeup look that I actually did film. And I don't know if this is gonna be out before the vlog or after. Um, I'll try actually, no. I'll aim to have this out before the vlog. So, this is the look I'm wearing today, let me show you. The dress is from House of CB and I am wearing my Versace, I think it's Anthelia Leaf Hills. Anthelia, I can't remember, but I'm gonna leave it in the description box. But um, Bella's running down my line. I gotta go. Fragrance time. 
Okay, I recently received these new fragrances from a brand called Testament, and I think this is the one I want to use, no shame. Oh, this is such a vibe, and I tried it with mixing Kaali, really nice sweet scent. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna give the girls some. <coughs> that always happens to me when I decide to talk. <laughs> It is really strong. I might have overdone it with the spritz because these are kind of like oud based, so you don't really need to use much. Oh. These are my babies. My Versace heels. I love these. It really is very hogging. I'm very happy. It's high time I got back into my colour. <laughs> <laughs> Look no. at this blondie. Who even are you? <laughs> Good morning, guys. I installed a wig last night and I basically washed it this morning, so it's really got a lot of volume. So I'm going to blow dry it and style it this morning. Um, I am currently in the middle of packing because I'm going to be going yeah I'm going to be going to a family friends for the bank holiday weekend I, I'm struggling with the transition period from summer obviously now into winter because it's done nothing but rain I'm trying to plan okay how is that going to look on one's feed if I'm going from like coats and jackets and all of a sudden like I'm wearing like a skimpy dress but then again I did it in the winter I did it last year, I did it the year before. I think it's just like conditioning myself to be like, hey, no more summer, more winter content now. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I think my hair is still a bit damp, but I am going to start blow drying it. I've got a lot of comments where people say, oh yeah, your room is not a mess, it's not a mess. I can't find the mess. And when I say like my room is such a mess, I'm really talking about all the little bits of things that I've left everywhere. So like the, my chair being filled with clothes, my bed being filled with clothes, there's things all over the floor. Um, that's what I mean. Like it's not actually like dirty, it's just like unkept. That's what I mean when I say that, but I think I'll stop saying that because if some of you are getting a bit pedantic. Voila! I finished blow drying. I'm, I'm contemplating straightening it, but I can always do that later on. So there's no big deal um, with forcing the straightening now. Uh, I'm get dressed. Okay, multiple changes after, and a few, like, let's say two, three hours later, I have packed and I've got all my outfits. I'm happy with them because I was having a right mare. Fragrance today is going to be Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. I received this yesterday and I just love it. I wore it to bed, and girl, it is very nice. Unlike anything I ever have, the strongest notes I'll say are raspberry notes, but you still have some, like, <laughs> some violet. <laughs> I need to stop. Like I actually need to stop. There's no excuse at this point. Also has some violet notes. Don't know if you guys remember that the body mist I use is also from this brand. Julia has a gun soul. Ain't no complaints there. I feel like I can share the fragrance from my last vlog now that I couldn't before, and it was mm, someone's been playing around with the positioning of my fragrance. Yeah, this is the fragrance I was talking about. Um, this is the YSL. Um, Libre, Liber, Liber, whatever. This is the updated version. I couldn't talk about it because they hadn't launched it, they hadn't even released it or anything like that. They sent it to me a month in advance YSL. I don't know why they did that because I had people asking me in public and I, it's kind of difficult to explain why I can't tell them what fragrance I'm using. But this is the fragrance that I have been hiding. The original one is, oh, the lid just fell off is this one and I don't really love this one but this I would say I prefer much over to this one because sometimes this gives me a headache but I love this and I tend to mix this with my Kaali um yeah the fragrances are everywhere girl um I mix this with my Kaali Deja Vu these two together insane I've gone for um jacket is from Misguided 
bodysuits from Zara and my jogging joggers are from Sunder Bay. So this is my fit for today guys and this is what I mean when I say it's messy just like with things. I was gonna wear, I was bringing up the boots but I think it's a bit too early for that for now. Um, but yeah, these are my babies. This is the first time I'm wearing these to be honest. Found those bad boys on Vestia Collective. Was really, really pleased with myself if I say so myself. The girl is here. I'm about to start getting ready. Um, I just went out for lunch at, where did I go? Royal China and Canary Wharf, which was nice. So it was really weird because with a lot of restaurants, they actually give you, um, they don't really give you menus. And if they give you menus, like it's the menus that are like uh, laminated that they can clean. But with Royal China, they were giving you like pieces of paper. They just tick what you want, which was really, really strange. Like I just didn't understand the logic behind it. It just wasn't really, make any sense because you just have to print off all that paper and say if someone has coronavirus have they touched that paper like it made no sense i am going i've been invited to a lounge this evening i think it's called the location lounge and it's in west london i haven't been there before but i thought might as well might as well do something because i rescheduled i was supposed to go last week but i had to reschedule um and i don't know i had to reschedule twice so i've used up all my reschedule lives Okay, I'm ready. I don't really want to show you guys my outfit or anything because this is just so anticlimactic. I'll show you though because I'm loving my jeans before I just quickly head out. Um, this is the fit I went for. So, super, super cash. Got my jeans. My jeans are from Anine Bing. My top is from Zara. Heels are Saint Laurent. Nothing special, they're just um, barely theirs. And that is me for the evening. I'm also going to wear my jacket. And my jacket is from my leather jacket. This is from Naked Fashion. So that's me for the evening. Oh, these jeans are amazing. Hey guys, I know I haven't vlogged much today, but let me update you on the current plans. I'm currently at the Greenwich, is this the, what's this? The Greenwich Peninsula driving range. Oh, um, I'm with Ty, we're waiting for our other couple. We are going golfing. I'm more of a mini golf, crazy golf type of girl, but I've never done the whole driving range experience. and. I think it's gonna be harder normally the first time i did mini golf or crazy golf whatever you want to call it i was the best i won i was really good i'm a born natural so we'll just have to see if i'm gonna kill this one to be honest we're just gonna see oh let me show my outfit so i am wearing my um it's not really a set because they come separate i just got them and wore them together so these are my sweatpants from and in bing as well and my um sweater and i'm still wearing like kind of the same trainers i'm a bit annoyed because i didn't pack any kind of like white and nude trainers to go with this look so i have to wear like my black trainers so we're gonna see ty's just preparing everything while i vlog look there he is <laughs> Aww. Aww. nice i taught him <laughs> Don't trip. <laughs> Practice. Go on. Oh, wow. That was a good one. But where is it? I just don't understand. How do we know who's winning? Oh, I want to practice. <laughs> I am the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
unimpressed. <laughs> Do you want to see the games? Oh, this is so romantic. I'm not trying to be funny, but what is that? Can you guys see that? Whilst playing, it's, the game's not that deep. It's just not that serious. I'm, I'm out. I'm done. He literally only beat me by one. I will be sitting the next rounds out as I devour all of this. Ribs, wings and some chips. Ribs, wings and chips. I don't know how we're going to eat the ribs though. I did think this one through. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> I asked you just to get chicken wings. <laughs> come, come back with ribs. <laughs> okay, guys, three foundation stains later. I'm off the court. I have thrown the towel in. I'm over it. And the boys are just going at it now, and I'm just ready to leave. The sky looks so good, though. Let me show you. Like, look how beautiful the sunset is. Okay guys, hello. Today is Bank Holiday Monday and I've literally done zero filming today, zero vlogging. I have absolutely done nothing. I've had the worst cramps all day. I've just sat down not doing anything and we're going out to dinner now and even that I was about to be like, yeah, no, it's a no from me. But I thought about it and plus I have a deadline for this dress. It is from House of CB so I'm gonna try and get that done today also and do a little date night. I don't know how I feel about my hair. I feel like it's already dropping out and I forgot to bring my hairspray, so that's another thing that I forgot, but... Hmm. For once, we're not waiting for me, are we? Ty. Let me update you on what kind of happened. I went out for date night. Oh, and by the way, I've lost two nails. Very unladylike. This is not a bit of me. This is not my brand at all, but I just, I'm going out tonight and I really can't get them done today. But I'll hopefully set up an appointment this week. Not hopefully, I must. If I don't set up an appointment this week, I'm taking, getting these all taken off because this is going out sad. Went out for date night again and it was really nice. I didn't vlog it at all or do anything like that or stories because it was kind of like a no phone type of night for the both of us. But after we went to a club and we were only really supposed to go there for an hour if I'm being completely honest with you because my friend is the general manager of a club. The club's called Coco Cure, manager of it. And yeah, so we were around the corner and we thought, okay, after dinner we'll go support him because that's who we were staying with as well for a few days and yeah, so support him and we went there, it was nice, it was good, but we ended up staying for a lot longer than expected. Like it just, you know those type of nights where you just don't plan? I was ready to go quite early to be honest. Nothing to complain about, the music was good and I really think that moving forward when it comes to club scenes, I will be going to more of like the black owned sort of clubs personally because one, I prefer the music, like they play the type of music I like. And two, I just don't see the point in investing in all of these um, places that aren't black owned. So I don't really see the point in going to all these clubs that that don't like, they just, it's just not, it's just not it. Because we all know that these clubs like to behave very much racist and it's nice it's a whole different vibe and experience when you're at a club that is black owned it's really nice so it was a good it was a good evening we went to get tested for covid the next day because we'd been out and about a lot like literally all over the place so i thought okay let's just go and get tested which i'm gonna probably leave the clips for that after the vlog when this vlog ends it's gonna end tonight because and i'm really hoping for the best because i have been all over the place probably been one of my most unstructured vlogs so i do apologize if you just can't get into it because me filming it me i couldn't get into it i don't know what happened but i don't want to waste all of that content i do want to like show it i might not even call it a vlog maybe just behind the scenes but yeah so tonight i am going out for dinner with the girls i'm going out to dinner with um, bella and tamara today get stuck in get ready um, our reservation is at half nine the kitchen closes at 10. our reservation was initially at 7 30 we moved it to 8 30 now we've moved it to half nine so um i'll get ready and we will catch up in a second uh, uh, you're coming, right? Definitely gonna
I oh. <laughs> What is good I'm ready um, closure wig honey because you have to have a few closure wigs on deck for those last minute get downs when you don't want to like glue stuff down to your head because it's time for that my outfit let me show you I've already worn my fragrance guys and I today I went from my um, or Yvonne fragrance and my Kaali vanilla it is about quarter to nine ish um, Bella's having a mare She's MIA, I haven't heard from her. <laughs> um, Tamara's basically ready, so I'm just gonna head out because I would actually like to eat at this restaurant we're going to. So, I mean, or else this vlog would have been completely shambolic. So I'll show you my outfit, and then we're gonna skedaddle. Ooh, I look so yellow. <laughs> Bella, yeah. This is just throwing off everything, like. Okay, so I've just gone for like a shirt and some boots both from plt yeah i'll leave everything in the description box but these are the booties it's boot season babes it's boot season Here we go. Put on your gloves or use hand sanitizer for your hands. Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've failed already. <laughs> Gently blow your nose into a tissue just so you can get rid of excess mucus. You should have told us that. <laughs> so extra. Hey. Gently. Oh my God. Gently blow your nose into oh. a tissue. Nigerian. <laughs> You know about you. Yeah, yeah, your thumbs are right, yeah. Yeah, my thumbs are good. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Both tonsils as well, yeah. Wait, how many tonsils do we have? Is You're it not just on one? Side. I think I've only got one. No, you don't. Oh, say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Right, let's go. Ten seconds, yeah. Yeah. Go. Ah. 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 Okay, I think I'm we're good. <laughs> <laughs> you were really gagging up, now, innit? Bro, 